just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. It is Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. <laughs> and I'm getting ready for work. Just made my coffee, but I made it in a regular mug because it's early right now. And I don't leave until 8.30. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys. So, at my job, um, the winter hours, which I knew my hours were going to change. And I think I mentioned that to you guys. But the winter hours are on Monday and Tuesday. We work from 9 to 5.30. I don't know why, but whatever. And then Wednesday and Thursday, it's the 7 to 3.30. And then Friday, it's 7 to noon. And they do that for the winter. And then... Um, in the summer, it'll go back to 7 to 3.30 every day, well, except with the exception of Fridays. Because when I started around the holidays and everyone wanted to be off early for the holiday season and stuff like that, that's the reason why they were ah, 7 to 3.30 every day. I am just making my a sandwich for lunch because I only get a 30-minute lunch right now. And taking five minutes to heat something up in the microwave or even longer because if other people are there first, I have to wait on them. It's just taking too much time out of my lunch. And so I'm going to start making things that you do not have to heat up. I'm going to try at least. So what I found out yesterday at my job is, so the place I'm at now, remember I told you guys, is like, there's two offices, one's high tech and the one that I am, it's like totally behind the times. Well, anyway, there is a lady that's out on maternity leave with twins. So when she comes back, I'm just holding her spot for now. When she comes back, I'm going to go to the high tech office, which I cannot wait because I mean, at this office, people are nice and everything, but it's just having everything on the computer. It's just so much easier. Everything is at your fingertips. And instead of when people call, getting up and get charts, it may sound lazy, but this is the life that we've become accustomed to. Oh so yeah. And um, once she have the twins and once her maternity leave is over, then she will come back to work and I will go to the fancy office which I can't wait so on Sunday oh my gosh you guys there was a storm and it was howling the wind was and it sounded like the roof was gonna take flight and then when I went to work yesterday morning there was a lot of debris and tree branches and everything in the street yeah there was so much stuff and I was surprised we didn't lose power because in my neighborhood for some reason it's the weirdest thing my house is the cutoff line where everyone to the left of me and across the street, they have power, but my house and everything to the right, we usually lose power and we didn't and I was so happy. So yeah, we didn't lose power. Still have 10 minutes before I go. I got up pretty early this morning because uh, I got to bed at a decent time. Savannah goes back to school today. Um, first day back after her Christmas break and she's not up now because they actually don't have to be there till later today. So. When I leave out, I'll wake her up. That way she'll get ready and she'll have to walk to school today. Remember I told you guys I would tell you a dental story every now and then? Usually in a dental office and if you have dental appointments, you know that you'll get a courtesy call the day before or something like that, whatever the office policy is. Sometimes they call two days before. Most offices call the day before. 
So it's just a courtesy call. Everyone is an adult and you know, we don't have to do it, but we do it anyway. Sometimes when we make those calls, people cancel. So yesterday when I was confirming um, the patients, a lady said, oh, I can't make it. You know, I got whatever going on. So I rescheduled her appointment and then I was actually able to fill in the time where the lady canceled that way we wouldn't have any holes in the schedule so the schedule was completely booked well like an hour or two later she called back and she said the other time you gave me is not gonna work I need my time back and I told her I said oh I'm sorry you gave the time to someone else well can't you bump them no we cannot bump them we can't do it like that so you're telling me you're not being accommodating you're new there, aren't you? What's your name? Let me speak to the manager. And so I'm like, okay, whatever. I gave the phone to the manager and the manager's on the phone talking to her and she's being nice and she's rolling her eyes and she's like, yeah, you know, once you give up that spot, you know, we cannot go back and bump the person that filled in the time. And she was really upset and, you know, trying to blame it on me because I'm new there. Like it's my rules that I made up. No. So if you reschedule an appointment and someone takes the appointment that you previously had, if you decide that you want it again, that can't happen. So yeah, that's what happened to me yesterday. All right, you guys, let me finish drinking my coffee and watching whatever on YouTube so I can go to work and hopefully this day will go by fast. So just sitting here, letting my car warm up. Do you guys do that? Even though I parked my car in the garage, I still let my car warm up because it does get cold. So yeah, I know some people usually start their car and go. Even if it's a new car, it's not good for you. I don't, good for you, good for the car. So yeah, and plus my kids, they park outside. I make sure I tell them, especially in the winter time, you gotta let your car warm up a little bit before you just take off. So yeah, that's what I'm sitting here doing. And decided to pull the camera out a little bit. Told you guys I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more. So yeah, it feels good going later because I get to sleep in a little bit later. I don't like getting off at 5.30 on Monday and Tuesdays, but it's whatever. I was plugging my phone to the charger and yeah, you can see my cord is like really frayed or messed up here. And I put like a, you guys can't see. I put like a spring around it to try to stop it from breaking, but it still broke. But anyway, it still works. At the other job that I was at, the one that was being really crazy. <laughs> so I walked in one day and I had the phone like this and it was attached to the charger, my portable charger. And one of the girls go, oh, you have a portable charger? I said, yes. She said, oh, that's good to know if I ever need to use it. I'm like, excuse me? And then she said, what percentage is your phone at? Can I charge mine? Cause it's at whatever percent. And I'm like, it does not work that way. We are not friends. We are not family no you cannot use my charger and so I told her I said my charger my phone is on it right now and so ever since then after that I would keep it like tucked in my purse out of sight why should I have to do that I mean is that me just being mean but don't think just because I have a charger that you can use it I mean I don't know it was just maybe it was just her way she said it that bugged me I don't know Whew, so I am home from work it was a long day today I learned a lot, even though I know what I'm doing in my field, every dental office runs differently. And the way they have you do things, even though I know what I'm doing, I just have to learn the way they want things. And here, they're very detailed about certain stuff. And a lot of it really doesn't matter, honestly. And even the main boss says it doesn't matter, but because I'm there, whatever, I just have to do how they want it until I get to the other office. So yeah, I'm home. I got a package. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna open it in a bit, but I just got in. So I'm going to shower and relax a little bit and then I'll show you guys what I got. I'm so excited you guys to show you what I got. So maybe about a month ago, two months ago, I think it was two months ago, I was on Pinterest and I was looking for Disney wallpaper for my phone. Yeah, whatever, I'm a big kid, so what? Anyway, and then I started looking for other different kind of wallpaper. So I came across this artist. Her name is, I'm gonna totally butcher her name. I'm bad at names. It's Heather Stillefson, I think. So anyway, I seen these drawings of different women. It would have an inspirational quote. And so I'm like, oh, this is nice. Looking a little bit more and I see that she has a Instagram page. I go on Instagram and I follow her Instagram page and I am so in love with this 
page inspirational quotes and the pictures that she draw are women of all color. Usually every year I buy a planner, not a big huge planner. I know some people do the Erin Condren planner and I was actually planning on doing that in December but you guys know what happened to me so I didn't do that. I know in the past before I bought like a happy calendar but like a small one to keep in my purse and when I found out she has calendars she has wall calendars and also planners so I went on Amazon and I ordered a planner. See this is her name you guys. I probably screwed it up but this is her name. So this is her planner live life in full bloom. So when you open it, it's the same picture as on the front. So here it has the day. So um, Monday, December 31st, 2018. And then, you know, right here. And also here, it'll have an inspirational quote. May your new year sparkle and shine. Let me show you guys. And then when you turn the page, it also has the month calendar like this. This is my favorite. This is what I like. This is mainly what I use to write everything on. And then in the corner here, it also has a little picture right there and she draws all of these. It's all her own work. And then it continues if you want to have it day by day line like this. And then there's always some kind of inspirational quote. This one I love. It says, do not let the fear of the unknown hold you back. Embrace your new beginnings. Yes, it's your time to go out and do what you have always wanted to do. Yeah, you guys, I have been so excited to get this. I have been itching to get this. I could not wait. I was so excited when I seen that it, it had been delivered. If you guys want to check her out, she's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. On Instagram, it's Heather Rosehill. None of this is sponsored. I just fell in love with her pictures that she draws and her inspirational quotes so yeah if you guys see some of those from time to time on my Instagram page I am <laughs> stealing it from her page the only thing I think I'm going to do personally is I'm going to buy different tabs that way I can go to each month like that so but other than that I am so happy with this I am so excited it's the little things you guys the little things oh my gosh you guys okay Whew, I'm such a big baby. Remember that show Allie McBeal? Well, I used to watch it here and there when it came out on TV years ago. And I think the show ended in like 2002. Well, I had stopped watching because you know how sometimes shows just get boring and it's not the same anymore or whatever. So I never finished watching the whole series. And maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, I started buying the DVDs one at a time. So I finally just finished watching the whole series and I was bawling because of the last episode. It was so sad. Anyway, now back to Friends. Gonna continue watching Friends. I am on season five. So yeah, tomorrow is my early day. Have to be there at seven, but the good thing I get off at 3.30. And yeah, I'm gonna be going to sleep soon, so I'm just gonna call it a night, you guys. I'm really tired. Good morning, everyone. It's my early day, it's 6.30. Just letting the car warm up. I am so tired. I got to bed at a decent time. Cannot wait till this day's over. I had like a random series of weird dreams last night. But one of them was I was at work and manager said, why are you so tired? I said, I'm not a morning person. And she said, you're so rude. People here are singing and happy. And I'm like, and I'm the rude one. <laughs> yeah, that was the dream. Cause I'm seriously, you guys, I am not a morning person. I think I told you guys this millions of times. I always have to fake it to make it. Turn the heater on now. And at my job now, it's the weirdest thing. This is the first place I've ever been to where the manager told me to keep my phone by me, but on silent. I'm like, why? And she said, well, in case the boss needs to get a hold of us. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I was so tired when I left the house today, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but when I was backing out of the garage, cause I parked my car in the garage, instead of putting the car in reverse, I put it in drive because I was that tired and I almost hit like there's shelves and cabinets in my garage. I almost hit that 
yeah wouldn't have been too good eventually going to be starting another project so after work today i went to go get some sample paint i am going to do the kids bathroom so then i finally picked the color for her room so we're going to paint her room and then the dining room i'm going to wait for that I know I said that was my next project, but I'm going to wait for that because their bathroom is smaller and I just want to redo it because it's just a plain old bathroom right now and I redid mine so why not redo theirs? So I got some sample paint and I'm going to go paint the walls and you'll know, see how that will look. But also, Tyree. So anyway, you guys remember two years ago, I think it was two years ago when I redid my kitchen. Not redid it, but I painted the cabinets with that kit called Cabinet Transformation by Rust-Oleum, something like that. That's what I'm going to use for the kids' bathroom. Paint the cabinets gray, and then the walls are going to be a lighter gray. So yeah, hopefully the idea I have in my head will be pretty. So these are the colors that I got. This is called Chance of Rain, but it's too dark. And this is called Silver Mine. So, yeah, I'm gonna, these girls are being so loud. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll see what it looks like in the morning, in daylight, and then we'll go from there. But I'm pretty sure this is out because it's way too dark. But this is definitely in the running. It's so cold in here, don't mind me. I just turned my heater back on. It's only eight o'clock and I'm already sleepy. Probably gonna go to bed within the next hour because tomorrow is another one of my super early mornings. And yeah, I'm just sitting here. I'm trying to think of more ideas for the kids' bathroom other than the walls. Um, just decorations, what I'm gonna do in there. Big stuff like the floors because I do want to get the floors done in the kitchen because it's that vinyl or whatever you call that that comes with that came with the house I guess it's vinyl I don't know what it's called but I think that's what it is so that's old bathroom floor and my bathroom floor so I have hardwood floors throughout the house except the kitchen and the two bathrooms so that is a bigger expense I want to do later but right now I'm just trying to do things that I can afford things that I can do so yeah then after that i'm gonna eventually get to the dining room i'm gonna eventually buy a dining room table it's just not really important right now because we either sit at the bar or that's not really a bar where we have bar stools we'll either sit there or we honestly will eat in the living room you know together like that so i'm not in a big hurry to get a dining room table although sometime this year i plan on getting one so now that these are completely dry, I definitely am liking this one more. Apparently I didn't, you know, fill it in as much. I just wanted to get it on the wall to see what it looks like. But a darker, darker color walls will make the bathroom feel smaller. And I know my bedroom is gray, but my bedroom is huge. So I really think I like this. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, and it's called, I think I told you guys earlier, it's called Silver Mine, so yes. And of course, I'll show you guys what the bathroom looks like before, and I'm sure I'll vlog like in the process of me doing it, and then um, when it's done, I'll show you guys what it looked like again before, and then what the new bathroom style will look like so I've already found a few things on Amazon that I'm going to order as far as decorations so yeah you guys I am getting tired number one <laughs> I'm getting excited about the bathroom even though it's not my bathroom you guys know I just enjoy doing projects so yeah okay you guys I know I really didn't vlog a whole lot again but I'm tired tomorrow's an early day it's 9 48 I'm really gonna go to bed.